Hi, this is Kyle with Digital Tutors, and in today's top tip video, I'll show you the power of working with adjustment layers inside of Photoshop. Okay, so if you're a Photoshop user, uh, there are a couple of different ways of applying things like hue and saturation adjustments or brightness contrast adjustments to our Photoshop artwork. Now, one of the first and probably most direct ways of going about that is to go through our image menu. So, image, adjustments, and then we have things like levels, exposure, hue and saturation, and so on and so forth. So if we were to just simply drop in a basic hue and saturation adjustment, let's say we come in and do a little bit of recoloring to this. Okay, so we hit OK. And now at this point, we have completely locked out any ability to go back and make any adjustments to that hue and saturation. You can see it's been applied, and there's no way to get back to that. So if at any point in time we decide we need to go back and make any adjustments to that, uh, the only thing that we can do is either hope that we have enough undos to get back to that point, or um, hope that we have maybe saved a previous version of this document before we made those changes. So using this uh, method to go through our uh, different adjustments is actually a, a very, very destructive process, and the fact that we cannot go back and make adjustments to those. So to get around this problem, this is where we start to use adjustment layers. So let me just undo this uh, to get back to our original document. Now the adjustment layers can be found inside the Layers panel. So let's go over to uh, this little bottom area. It's going to be this little half circle here. If we click on this, then you can see all of these same adjustments that we just saw over in that menu. So uh, hue and saturation, levels, brightness, contrast, exposure, and so on. So let's drop in hue and saturation. So here we can come in and make these exact same adjustments. So there's our coloring that's been adjusted. And you can see that when this adjustment layer is used, it uh, just drops in a new layer just above our image or above the layer that we were using previously. Now the great thing about this adjustment layer is the fact that we have full control over this. So if we wanted to see what we had before, we can just simply turn that layer on or off to get back to our original uh, art. We can also select this layer and use something like the opacity adjustments. So if we wanted to maybe drop the opacity of this hue and saturation adjustment, we can start to blend now between this adjusted mode and what we had originally. So really, really nice features. Now another really nice thing about these adjustment layers is the fact that they can be selectively applied to individual layers in our document. 